going on, you guys? Look what you got to the channel. Your boy Big Dog back with another one take review. There we go. One for the two popes or two popes. Yeah, no, the two popes. Yeah, I had it right. Starring um, Jesus Christ, <laughs> Anthony Hopkins and Jonathan Price. Give you guys a quick synopsis of the film. Uh, behind Vatican walls, the conservative Pope Benedict and the liberal future of Pope Francis must find common ground to forge a new path for the Catholic Church. This is a film that's been on Netflix for, uh, I think, a little over a month or about a month now. I think today makes, yeah, today actually makes a month, I want to say. And I've been putting it off for a while, and I'll just be like, hey, I, I, I'm going to watch it eventually. But, like, nothing about it just, like, made me want to see it. You know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't just interested in... The, the subject matter, you know what I'm saying? I, I get it, Catholic Church, you know, I'm a Baptist or whatever. But I'm just like, yeah, I'm not, I don't really care. You know, I, I don't really, really pay attention to stuff like that. So I was never interested in the film. And then I saw these, both of these, both of them got nominations for the Oscars. And, you know, I always like watching like the, the material that's nominated for an Oscar in, in certain categories. And so I'm like, I have to, before I like make my predictions or whatever, I have to see the films that these people play in. You know what I'm saying? Cause they nominate, both nom nominated for uh, Best Supporting and uh, Best Lead Actor. So I, I ended up watching the film. And for the first majority of the film, I mean, first, no, I just said majority, first few minutes of the film, say 15, 20 minutes, I kind of just like, yeah, whatever. Okay, I, I get it. Uh, yada, yada, yada. And then as the film went on, and more events started to occur. And it wasn't necessarily events that occurred that got me into the film. I think it was more or less the acting. Because I had a friend walk in while I was watching this film. And they said, man, just like a documentary. And I was like, no, nah, it's, like it's like a biopic. And, and, and well, in a sense, it's like a, a biopic. But, like, it like, always seems so real. And I, I, and I, like, came to that conclusion as well. It's like, it didn't seem like these guys were acting. It seemed like these were the real people uh, that this was based off of. Granted, I don't know these people, but it just didn't feel like these guys were playing roles. Anthony Price, uh, and, I mean, oh, excuse me, Anthony Hopkins and Jonathan Price. It's like when you're watching them, it's just, they're they're great, okay? It's just, that's the only way I can probably describe it. And, and it's one of those fans where I'm, I'm pretty, I'm looking at it more as like performances and whatnot other than, than, than like uh, the actual story itself because they are really, really good. It seemed like these guys are, are you know, a cardinal and a pope, legitimately. And the, the, the ideals of one uh, are clashing with the ideas of other, the other, but in some ways, one kind of has to realize like, your way might be the way we need to go in the future. And the way I've been looking at things is not necessarily right. When you have people who are uh, 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 molesting children and die for forgiveness, you give them that, but you don't necessarily go deal with those people that they hurt, they injure, you know. Because, yeah, you can forgive them. You know what I'm saying? You can, they can repent, you forgive them, whatever. But beyond that, they have to uh, face consequences of the actual world. You know what I'm saying? It must be prosecuted and stuff like that. And so you had these fathers, of these people like kind of well this pope ignoring those things, and then the other ones like disagreeing, like hey, and he kind of like pretty much he like I don't want to do this no more. I don't want to be this. I just kind of want to retire and go off. You know, it's it's not. It's like no, you don't realize, it, but like you're the per you're the right person for this. You're needed, and like when he gets to the end, and like you see why, because like he's different. He's not like he's like hey, we losing people to the we losing people in the church not because. You know, it's like because the world is changing and the, and the church is progressing as well. And I think it, he made some very, very valid points. And if you if you think about it and you and you watch, you just like, yeah, that makes sense. Especially so somebody who coming up in the, who came up in the church. Uh, I don't go to church as much as I used to, but you know, that's just that's just uh, out of other reasons. But like when you when you see what he's saying and. And why he's saying it, it makes sense because like, you have to evolve as time goes and you, know, like, you don't necessarily have to change your belief, you know, they completely be swayed, but like there are certain things that don't age as well, you know, or might be perceived different, you know what I'm saying now. So I end up really enjoying the film, you know, but like I said, I think, granted the film, I think is an okay film, but what shines bright is these two carrying this film, and I mean carrying it they their performances are exceptional 
They are some of the best I've seen this year, and they are deserving of their Oscar nods because I I saw it and I'm like, why so and so should probably should have got this slide or you know why Jamie like I was thinking like why Jamie Foxx didn't get the nod for the and I now that I think about the Oscar nods and I'm probably gonna go back and do a video on it later. I'm like, eh, well I can't argue with these two guys' spots. I mean you can you can you can make an argument that like hey somebody did this, but these guys were who they were portraying in this film. And I think that that alone, you have to commend. You know, overall, the film, you know, I have to give it like a B minus, I guess. But the performances was 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 top of the line. God must admit that. Uh, you guys let me know what you thought about the film down in the comments if you've seen it. Thanks for watching my uh, vid. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.